cash on you, nigga. I just been ballin' out every season. Or some niggas I left in the piece. I just been married to double cup. I gotta pull me a four inside another leader. Time to pass and run it up. I gotta put the new bills inside of the freeze. Back at the What's up, guys? Jordan from Calkin Official. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna be going over a 10 minute ball mastery that you can do in under 30 seconds. Let's get right into it. Let's get 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 into it. Let's at your house or in a small space like this, I'm just gonna be using my little turf patch for today. I got my timer down here and let's just get right into it. So the first show we're gonna be doing is some of these bell taps. We're gonna be going for 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. So I got the timer right here, let's get started. Make sure you guys aren't looking directly down at the ball. Look a little bit ahead of you and keep the ball shifting across your body. Not too short, not too far. Make sure to breathe while you're doing this. Five more seconds. And we're gonna get 30 second rest in between everything. And if 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off is too easy for you, then you can do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Doesn't really matter, whatever works best for you. Guys, make sure that when you're doing this, you're not just going through the reps, you're not just going through the motions. You wanna make this as intense as possible. So you only got 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So you wanna make these as sharp and intense as possible. And the next one's gonna be rollovers. Get it across your body. Don't look down. Direct the ball. And breathe, guys. Breathe. It's one of the most important things when doing this. Five more seconds. doing this while looking at the timer and this is a great workout if you don't have much time if you you know if you got school classes stuff going on busy schedule just 10 minute ball mastery really simple to do it's very time efficient but it's very effective the next one we're going to be doing is toe taps try to keep the ball as still as possible when you're doing it See, my reps aren't even perfect, but the challenge is to keep the ball as still as possible and keep going as quick as possible. Whew, 10 more seconds. Breathe, guys. You feel a little burn in the feet, but that's good. Gotta keep going. up too much, just slow down. Now we're gonna do V taps. So I'm just gonna do the outside of the foot first.
get a consistent V pattern and start to speed it up as you get more comfortable. It's not going to be perfect, but try to keep it in that V pattern. Five more seconds. These are very basic exercises. So I will be doing other ball master drills in the future. If you guys find these too easy, these are very basic and I still do these from time to time as like a warm up to my sessions or if I don't have enough time in the day, I'll just do a simple session like this. Now we're gonna do the left foot. Go slow first if you need to. Get that V pattern motion going. Start to speed it up if you can. Five more seconds. Make sure to breathe. Make sure when you guys are doing that, it's not too much to the side, like this, or too far in front of you, like in the linear path, you want to try to make it 45 degrees every time, like this, so you're just getting consistent pattern all the way through. Go slow first, just get that motion going, you see right there, trying to get consistent, and you can speed it up. seconds. I'll be honest, not every touch I made there was as I wanted it to be, but I want to show you guys this footage of not me just getting all the perfect reps, showing that I do mess up from time to time. Now we're going to be doing actual quick turns, so you're going to take a touch out. Roif, touch out, Roif, touch out. Go slow at first. And start to speed it up as you go. Alright guys, so I didn't realize this until after, but my camera died at the last two minutes of the session, which really pissed me off. But the last two minutes of the session were really basic. It was pretty much just freestyle dribbling inside the little turf area that I had. So whatever space you have, just do like freestyle dribbling, whatever comes to mind, make it really instinctual. That's pretty much all I did for the last two minutes. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below as well what type of videos you guys would like to see in the near future. And I'll catch you guys in a later video. Peace.